what's going on guys and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Lobby Compass. So this is a must for all hub servers and all servers with hubs and lobbies in them because this gives you a compass and inside this compass you can teleport to different worlds or different mini games or different servers so it's really useful for that and most hub servers and other servers are going to need something like this to teleport their players to other mini games. So if you're looking for a Lobby Compass plugin, this is the one. So this will also let you change all the messages inside of it and you can decide which slot it's in and whether or not players can drop it. Alright, so after downloading this plugin, just head into the config and the first thing that you can change is the compass name. So if you hover over the compass and scroll over it like this, that's what will appear. So you can change that in the config, click this to open warp menu, I think I'll leave that as that, and then you can change the inventory name, which appears once you right click on it. So I'm just going to change it a little bit just to tell the difference between it. So awesome warp transit, and keep in mind that you can change all the color codes for this, so you can change what color the word appears in with the color codes right here. So the color codes are on the screen, so be sure to change any colors that you want to change. So whether or not you want the players to get the compass well, as soon as they join your server, true or false, which slot it's in, the compass to worlds that the players get the compass in, so that's very useful. So if you don't want the players to get the compass in like, let's say, an actual minigame world where minigames happen, then that's useful. So if you want the players to be able to use the command LC get, which gives them the compass, then you can change that true or false. Whether or not they can drop it, the amount of inventory line. So once you right click on it, it'll show the inventory. Let me show you guys. And it only has four lines. You can change that. The sound effect, options. And the options are for this right here. So this is basically the worlds and the servers and the mini games that you want them to teleport to. So I'm going to keep that one and then I'm going to change one and then add a new one. So just change how you like, add as many as you like. Kind of spawn. I'm going to have. Castle Wars, which will teleport them to Castle Wars minigame. And I'm going to have plots for creative mode and stuff like that. And that's it for the tutorial, but you guys can go on further. And for as many of it as you add, you're going to have to copy this format. So I'm just going to copy this and hit enter, backspace all the way, and that's important. And then just control V to paste it in. So you're going to have to have this format and just change it how you like. So I'm going to change PvP to plots because I don't want PvP. So plots, and I don't even want PvP to begin with on Castle Wars. And here's the name that represents the item inside of the GUI, so the inventory. So if you hover over it, the name will pop up with its lore, so the text under it, which pretty much describes where they're heading to and stuff like that. So you can change the name, you can change the description of it, you can remove this line and add another one add as many lines of text that you need to explain the game and the item ID that represents it so this is the item ID that represents the PvP and this is the item ID that represents the spawn so you can change that and the command that's executed when the players click on it so make sure not to include a slash and just have it without the slash and I'm gonna change this to tutorial because that's the name of the world and you can leave that on true and then position inside the inventory so so as you guys can see if you count the lines then this is the 10th slot and then this is the 19th slot so that's how they have it you can change it to whatever one you want and yeah that's pretty much it let me just change these commands right here okay so that's it just make sure you save everything and restart your server and then head back onto your server and I actually almost forgot to change the position for the third one and the item that represented it so there was like two and one, so let me go ahead and change that. I'm gonna change it to 20, and I'm just gonna change this to something random. A wood plank. And yeah, so now it's saving and restart your server. All right, so when you get back on the server, you should see the changes that you made, and I changed mine to warp transit, and that was changed. I had a new item added, plot, make plots, pretty cool. And uh, the spawn item that teleports me to spawn, castle wars, so I'm gonna test this out. So let's teleport to castle wars. Bam, here we are, Castle Wars. Pretty okay, all right. Yeah, let's test plots out. Bam, this is my plots area. So yeah, and hopefully you guys enjoy this plugin tutorial, and if you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.